But this is a big principle for me, and anybody that knows me knows that this is big for me. Find a way to serve your community. And you should be doing this whether the market is great or whether it's terrible. You should always be finding a way to serve your community. How many people in here are volunteers in the community? Great, great, this is good, this is very good. You know, my grandfather used to often teach me, he said, Algernon, if you want to um, become successful, then go help someone else to become successful. If you want to achieve things in your life, help enough other people to achieve what they want in their life, and it'll come to you. So you have to find a way to serve. And, and I've also found that people that serve their communities and they volunteer, they typically have less stress, even in a down market because they feel like they're making contributions to their community. And I mean, these contributions don't always have to be monetary. They can be of your time, of your talent, of your energy, the things that you use for your customers all the time, whether audience, your ability to market and go out and talk to people, or, or any of you in this room, ability to run numbers and evaluate transactions and look at deals. All those skills can be used within a nonprofit or some volunteer organization so that you can give back to your community. And I think that successful people that volunteer, they truly understand that that's the best way to expand your relationships. I have met more people volunteering and through Rotary, those types, of, uh, those types of avenues, than I have met anywhere else. So I'd say find a way to serve, and that's something that we should definitely be doing in a good economy or bad economy. I know for Wharton Gladden, it's a requirement. If you work with my company, have to participate in at least one civic organization in the community. It's just not good enough, it's not good enough for us to sit here in the triad and make a whole bunch of money and not ever give back. It's just not good enough. So you have to do that within my organization. So that's, those are the five principles or five success principles that I try to follow. Like I said, whether it's a good market, bad market, it doesn't matter, these things work.